What do you want to do with your music and with your singing? Play the best that I can. Every day. Every day I have the blues. You only have to hear one note to know it's B.B. King because of the way he phrases. There's a certain vibrato he used. There's a certain singing sound that he got from his guitar, and it's in every solo he played. It talks to you. It melts you. And then sometimes it zaps you. One reason B.B. King became the face of the blues was he was on the road all the time for 200 and 300 nights a year. He didn't need to be doing that when he was 80. He had a mansion in Las Vegas. He had a chain of B.B. King clubs. But there he was, out on the road, making the blues cry every night from his voice and his guitar. But you he was a Delta blues man, but he was also a city blues man, and he was also approachable for audiences. He was friendly. He wasn't as scary as someone like Howlin' Wolf or Muddy Waters. That's the way to do it, like my man's doing way over there. That's the way you do it. He was your Uncle B.B., and yet he had that deep blues in nothing but the blues woman. The thing that made B.B. King different, the thing that made B.B. King so appealing so broadly, was that he combined the raw spirit of blues he learned growing up in the cotton fields with everything he could listen to. Frank Sinatra, Count Basie, gospel, big bands, jump blues, Louis Jordan, all kinds of things. You had the rawness and you had the finesse, and both of those things were B.B. King. B.B. King, the singer, was steeped in gospel. He could put so much pain into what he was singing. And then his guitar, Lucille, would talk back to him, would console him, but could also just sting straight to the heart. B.B. King called his guitar Lucille because one night he was playing a gig in Twist, Arkansas. Two guys got into a fight. They knocked over a stove. The bar burned down. B.B. King ran out and then ran back to get his guitar. It turned out the two guys had been fighting over a woman named Lucille, and that was the way B.B. King's guitars forever after were named Lucille. One more now, Lucille. 